Hey everybody, Constance Arnold, your success coach. And I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to explain my coaching process or at least um, what's the first thing that I do when I begin coaching with someone. Number one, uh, you receive a coaching assessment. You complete it, you get it back to me. So in our first coaching session, actually I'm going to be doing more counseling with you than I am coaching. Counseling deals with your past stuff, with your past behaviors, patterns, dysfunction, etc. Coaching gives you strategies, techniques, uh, action steps to move from where you are to where you desire to be. But this is what I know after 25 years as a professional counselor. If you do not initially take a look at, I say that we're not even going to stay. We are going to visit. We're peeping in. We ain't even taking a suitcase, y'all. We're peeping and taking a look at those, your core beliefs. We're taking a look at what, what your behavior patterns have been, your repeated behavior patterns, your thinking, your mindset, and we will shift, we will take a look at it, and we will acknowledge and say, oh, okay, I realize that I do always self-sabotage anything that I uh, begin to uh, have a dream for because uh, my core belief is that I'm not good enough and I can't do anything. If you don't do that, I've seen it happen thousands of times. If you don't have a strong foundation uh, that is built upon true core beliefs and new paradigms over time, it will collapse. And so I never coach with someone until I counsel them first. I just think that it's just imperative that we do take a look at shift and change. We're not gonna stay there, we're just peeping in, acknowledging, making the shift and changing so that we can have a strong foundation for that really powerful intention or dream that you desire. I feel like coaching has got a bad rap. Um, I've been a coach for 25 years and I know that there are some therapists who just keep you in the past. I don't believe in that. However, comma, I do believe uh, that your past thinking, beliefs, core beliefs, patterns, and behaviors need to be examined, acknowledged, and changed. Once we do that, we are ready to rock and roll and begin to develop those action steps, those techniques, those customized, specialized how-tos to move you from where you are to where you desire to be. I hope that gives you a quick peek into sort of what my coaching process looks like, at least the very beginning. Have a great day.